Hey guys, so I have great news. It's time for MakerBox again, but there's something weird about it this month. It, just wait till you see the way it comes in. I, you'll, you'll understand in, in just a second here. Whoa! Ah! Right? All right, so <laughs> now that the mysteriously floating maker box has landed, what do you say we cut it open and just hope that there's nothing super natural in there? Like an alien. I hope there's super things in there, just not supernatural things. Like aliens. <laughs> Would aliens be considered supernatural? I mean, they're not. There's. I don't know. Here, you want to cut it open with the official Fun King 3D knife? Courtesy of Tom Lama. Good job cutting the tape and not yourself. You just got to push this little button right here and then. I almost opened it upside down. Yeah, you love to open it upside down. Open the... There goes the glasses. Okay. We, uh, what did you drop? A sticker. Because you go grabbing stuff out of there. Yes. We got our typical ignore me that used to say read me. And uh, again, that's the sheet that tells me about how to get you a maker box and uh, to actually earn me a free one. Um, and it's also got some discount codes on it, but you don't get those unless you get a maker box. We have an E3D sticker. We know the guys from E3D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we got candy. We got candy. We always get candy. Those look good. I think I'm gonna keep those. Yeah, go ahead. All right, good. Yeah. You can have that uh, bag of hairballs that uh, has been sitting around here for a month. I guess Zach gets those. <laughs> All right. Wait, that's just dropsy's day, isn't it? All right. So here we have a. a I don't really want to call it an advertisement. It's a, it's a info a card. It's a sellout card. A sellout card. No, it's an info card for Pips Mountain. If you're into uh, desktop type gaming and uh, and you like dice, or if you just like dice, Pips Mountain is really cool. It's a, a monthly subscription box uh, to uh, to get dice, and they actually send you a whole month's worth. But uh, if you're a good person, I still haven't finished mine. You open it one set of, or one dice a day. Right, it's one die per day. It's an advent calendar. Yeah, an advent calendar. But uh, if you're if you're if you just can't wait, you can just open them all up. And and I I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag. But as of this point, MakerBox and Pips Mountain is getting a sibling. There's going to be a third box option. But I'm not letting the cat out of the bag yet. So, all right, what else we got in here? Oh, the delivery schedule is here. I guess that makes sense, being this is January's box, even though yeah, we're already into February, like halfway through. Um, <laughs> it's been a busy month here at Fun King 3D. Yes, but uh, the lovely part about around. these magnetic calendars is it shows us the date that our box is going to arrive. So we just need to check 10 days after this expected date, well, and what, then that's when it's going to be there. Oh, no, that's not when it's going to be there. So it's when we're going to finally oh, open yes. it. No, we, we just got to... Con convince Mike, Mike and Matt to uh, let our box arrive a couple days early uh, with the promise that we would never release the video early. So, all right, what do we got in there? Are you reading the first one? Mm, no, I'll read the third one. <laughs> all right, the first one is Green Tech Black. Or is it Black Tech Green? No, it is Green Tech Black. And that, uh, that is by Extruder. That has a hot end temperature of 180 to 230 degrees. Uh, bed temperature of room to 90. That's a wide range for bed temperature. Uh, speed is 60 to 180 milliseconds, uh, millimeters per second. Cooling, yes. Uh, green Cooling tech. makes me go yes. <laughs> yes. 
Green Tech comes from extruder bioperformance range and has been specially developed for high performance applications. The material has a heat distortion temperature of 115 degrees centigrade and is optimized for high tensile and flexural strength. It offers a high quality matte feel. Made in, manufactured in Austria. There you go. A little view of that, that label. It's a lovely label. Yep. And I, I don't know, somebody has to let me know if, if I hold those uh, QR codes up, can you scan those? I mean, I guess I could try it myself, but. There's more people out there. So you don't want to read this one either? Nope, I want to read this one. Oh. Hey now, this is PETG translucent pink with sparkles. Oh my goodness, it has sparkles? It has sparkles. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, you say that kind of jokingly around. Yes, I do. I say that because there there hasn't been a lot of PETG options. With sparkles. Well, with anything pretty. PETG pretty. has always been a, a very like a utilitarian type filament. There so needs to be some PETGs that pretty. It's fun that they're starting to uh, to play with the colors more and uh, and add things like sparkles. And glitter. Well, that would be sparkles. That's the magic behind sparkles. That Actually, it's, uh, it's, it's shavings of 24 karat gold. No, I made that up. It's a lie. Wow. All right, so this is PETG Translucent Pink with Sparkles. Uh, it is by Greengate 3D. Uh, it has a hot end temperature of 205 to 245, a bed temperature of room to 90, which with PETG, I don't think I would print with a room temperature bed. Um, I would lean more towards the, the 70 to 90 range, but we'll, we'll figure out how this one is. Speed of 25 to 80 millimeters per second. Cooling none or low. Uh, Greengate 3D exclusively extrudes filament from scrap plastics. That's why I knew Greengate 3D. We got them either last month or the month before. We had some from them too. That Did was they have it's sparkles? Re, it's re, no, but it is oh. recycled PETG. Um, uh, no virgin found here. Probably made in the United States of America. Our PETG can print at lower temperatures than traditional resin even in the upper range of PLA. With precision tolerance, generous flexibility, unmatched clarity, and truly a recycled product, why not try us? I think that's a lie. What? For it is not truly. It's truly. Is it truly a lie? No, it's not truly a lie. It's a truly recycled product. It's made from recycled material. Uh, Greengate 3D, true? recycling the world's plastics, one filament at a time. Listen, I can't stress enough how much that I want this technology to take off. I want these guys to absolutely uh, become huge because of what they're doing. The fact that they are using recycled materials to make the materials that a lot of times we end up recycling, mainly with PETGs, because... Uh, your prints don't always work. You know, things aren't always perfect when you print them. And then it ends up back in the recycle. So that is awesome. I want to read this one. Okay. It's nice and short. This is called Firefly PLA. With a hot end temperature of 190 to 220. With a bed temperature of room to 70. The speed isn't list listed. Uh, yes to cooling. Uh, it is abrasive. Ha hardened nozzle advised. A nozzle of 0.5 millimeters or more advised. A unique glow-in-the-dark filament filled with larger... There's no way that I'm saying that word. Glitter? No. Oh. <laughs> Phosphorescent. Yes, that. Phosphorescent particles. This gives the effect of being a glow-in-the-dark glitter. This actually does have glitter. It does have glitter. It's glitter. Well, okay, so... And it comes with a nice uh, twisty tie. At the point that you had said that they recommend at least a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Yes. Most printers, most printers come stock with a 0.4. Okay. Most 3D printing people okay. print with a 0.4. Okay. So at the point that they require, or not require, but suggest a 0.5, and then you went on to say that it has larger 
phosphorescent particles. That's exciting. I can't wait to see that one glow in the dark. In fact, I'm going to hold it up to the light. Oh, it's also uh, Hello 3D. Okay, well, I'm going to show the label in a second, but I'm going to hold that thing up to the light and take a picture of it, and we'll stick it in the video right here. Yes, right here. I can see it. It looks amazing. Uh, it does look amazing. We... I hope it looks amazing, because we're not actually looking at it right now. Yeah. But but there it is. There's the picture for you guys to see. So That makes and, me uh, very sad. And, and if it went according to plan, that was an amazing picture. All right, so here is... Yes. 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 Oh, look, yeah, you, it's it, it's, You know what was really funny is the fact that you picked that one. You're like, it's nice and short, and then it had the word pho <laughs> uh, pho phosphorescent. It's protoprosta. Pro what? Protoprosta. What? Protoprosta. Protoprosta? Protoprosta. <laughs> uh, oh, this is heavy. Why? Because it's an iron-filled metal composite PLA. Oh my goodness, I knew that It has answer. metal in it. I don't think I have a magnet sitting right here. Yeah, I do. Of course you do. Man, why? That's, got some, that's got some pretty good can metal I, content can in I, it. Can I, can I need I, to read it. Can I? Can, can I? No. Ah! It's, uh, it has a hot end temperature. Of 190 to 210 degrees, a bed temperature of room to 60, uh, no speed listed. It does require cooling. Uh, it is abrasive, which as a iron filled, it would definitely be abrasive, and a uh, hardened nozzle is advised. Protopasta. Protopasta. Rustable magnetic iron metal PLA composite is actually ferromagnetic. I could have just read instead of having to go get the magnet. Uh-huh. Because I had to go all the way over there to get Oh my it. goodness, that was so far away. Uh, I know, I know. It was a couple day trip. Mm -hmm. I had to have a snack. It a responds snack. to magnets and behaves similarly to pure iron. Encapsulated in plastic, the iron maintains a stable matte cast metal finish as printed, but can be rusted when desired. And that is manufactured by Protopasta right here in the USA. Protopasta. Protopasta. Uh, they're actually in Washington State. And there. Can I try the magnet now? Oh, is that what you wanted? Yes. Okay, here's this. Here's a. Oh, oh, right, oh, right to the plate in your head. I'm sorry. Of course. Well, there's nothing in it, so it doesn't really matter. In the plate in your head? No, in my head. It's just empty. And I found it weird that we had an E3D sticker, but we didn't have anything else from E3D. But I do notice that there is a little card in here. Yeah, you can try. Flip it around. I know. It's got stuff on both sides. Yeah. Oh, we don't want them to see that. Uh, upgrade to the Hemera. Dual drive gears. Unrivaled flexible performance. Hardened stainless steel drivetrain. Available in both Bowden and Direct. Optimized heat sink design. T-slots for rigid mounting. Now I'm going to tell you something about this hot end uh, and extruder assembly. It's a, it's a really cool design but as of right now they are holding off on any additional sales because of the disruption in China. So until we can get the, uh, the coronavirus under control there may be a little bit of hindrance uh, to being able to to get this so which is kind of a bummer because on the back of this uh, there's a 15 percent coupon code <laughs> which, it, which says is, it expires before the coronavirus is all well it's, it's uh, <laughs> valid until the first of march so but uh, wouldn't that be some sick joke but we'll see we'll see how that goes i only know about the the whole i read it on uh it was either on the facebook or the twitter today so that's the reason i know yeah let's not uh now we get to have a hat <sighs> Always with the hat. I always wanted to put the box on your head. Can you don't you? know where that box has been. I mean, the thing just mysteriously floated in here. There's no telling what was in there. Maybe I can have superpowers now. Maybe that box had a ghost in it. Thwip, thwip. And that's where the ghost's butt was. That's disgusting. And now it's on your head. <laughs> and now you're going to have ghost butt hair. <laughs> Maybe it will give me superpowers. Thwip, thwip.
All right, everybody. So that does bring us to the end of this month's Maker Box. It's always a sad time for us, other than the fact that we know next month there's going to be another one. Or because, in a few days. Because we are subscribers of the Maker Box, and you should be too. If you don't yet get a Maker Box, do yourself a favor and get one. At least get one so that you can try it out, see how it is, see how you like it. Now, if you're sitting out there and you're saying to yourself, man, I wouldn't know what to do with those filaments. Those were some crazy filaments. I only print PLA. Well, you know what? They have a box for that too. They have what's known as the Easy Box, which comes with nothing but PLAs. And I'm wondering this month if it was all protopasta. Proto pasta. Proto prosta. Uh, but uh, yeah, you get you get all just just PLAs. So if that's what you need, that's what you need. Now, if you're saying to yourself, I like the PLAs, but I also like what you got. Well, then there's the everything box, which comes with what's in here, which is the Explorer box, and also what comes in the easy box. So you get like two things in one. Oh my goodness. So, and the box is like, just, it's just packed and, and it's, it's, it's heavy, it's a heavy box. So definitely go and check that out. And if you're now wondering, well, where do I go to get this information? Right down in the description, there is a link to get yourself that's right. No. Get yourself a maker box. No, sir. Not only that, there is a code down there to save yourself a little money on your first maker box. Now, wait, since you're answering all these questions, I've been wondering where my sanity went. So, can you help me with that? I think you left it at Earth last year, uh, and it ended up in that one trash can by the door. I'm sorry. They. They already took it out. That's so, the same thing that happened with my brain cells. So maybe somebody will bring you some sanity at Murph this year. So <laughs> definitely check out the Maker Box. Uh, also, Pip Mountain for your dicing needs. You got anything to add? I'm very sad. You're sad because you lost your sanity? Still looking for your marbles? We thank you guys for tuning in to each month for the uh, Maker Box unboxing, unless this is your first time. And if it is your first time, oh. we welcome you to be here. We would love for you to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. A thumbs up is always appreciated as well, because if we don't get thumbs up, Zach cries himself to sleep at night. Yeah, we don't want. We don't want this one. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in we will see you next time for the maker box video or something in between and as always print on <laughs>